Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an intro or just pictures where you can get the whole background to be a white, and then the text has like a little shadow on it, and um, I haven't really seen a tutorial for this, and I didn't know how to do it, so I was messing around, I finally figured it out, and uh, if you've ever seen my video on Game Vids, it's how I did that intro, and uh, yeah, so let's get started, we're going to go up to File, New, then what you want to do is uh, go up to your uh, render settings, go to output, change it to uh, whatever you're saving it as. Um, for me, the HDV HD TV 720 29.97 would be uh, an intro. And then change the frame range from current frame to all frames. And then the save, Let's change that to a quick time movie. Uh, you can just save it as uh, intro, whatever. Um, and then the anti-aliasing uh, geometry to best, and then filter animation. But uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the light, hold it down, and we're going to make a floor, and then we're going to hold it down and make a sky. Now, if you render this out, uh, you'll get, we'll make it down again. If you render this out, you'll get like a, a grayish sky and a, a grayish, blackish uh, floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the colors of this to white. So come down here to the materials, you can go to file, new material, uh, control N or just double click it and then double click it and then change the color. It's going to be like the grayish. We'll change it the whole way up to white and then you can hit OK. Uh, you don't have to get rid of the specular if you don't want it. I, I don't, you know, just leave it on if you want. It's not a big deal. But then we're going to change that. Uh, we're going to take that white and drag it over to the sky. And now if you render it out, now we have a white sky instead of the grayish sky. But we still have the floor as a gray, a dark gray. So we're going to change the floor color. Now if you change it to white, uh, the exact same white, it doesn't turn out the same. It turns out the exact same. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click again, make another new uh, color. Um, we're going to change the luminance right here. We're just going to turn that on and make it white. Now uh, you can probably go through and make different colors. I didn't really try different colors. We'll try it actually. Um, red, it doesn't look the same. And if you make the, like that's a red, but if you make the sky a red, um, it won't be the same red and it'll look weird. Um, as you can see, it's a different shade of red. So maybe if you can actually find the right shade, you can do it a different color. But I'm just going to do it, do it with white because white looks the best. So I changed the luminance to a bright white. Um, and then actually it's already white. So all you have to do is just turn it on. And then it uh, doesn't matter what the color is, just white. And there, if you render it out, now we have full white. Everything's white. Now what we're going to do is throw in our text to so go up to MoGraph, Text Object. I'm gonna turn this around over a little bit. We're gonna come over here. Come over here. We're gonna change the depth from 20 to 80. We're gonna align it in the middle. Um, this, you know, this is all preference. You guys can change it around. This is just how I'm doing it. Uh, we'll just make it white, I guess. And then we'll just choose a font. Um, not sure what font to use. Uh, doesn't really matter what font you use and then uh, just change make another color good uh, color we're gonna make this a black and then uh, what I like to do is I add a, a little reflection just to, that way it brightens up the colors a little bit and adds a little bit of a uh, like to a reflection a reflection of it but uh, there as you can see now we have a white background with white text now uh, we want the shadow underneath so all we have to do is go up to render settings go over to effect ambient occlusion close that and then when you render it out it will be it will have uh, the shadow at the bottom and um, yeah now it takes a little while to render out and it will take a lot longer to save than uh, not having ambient occlusion but it looks really good when you're done and uh, yeah that's pretty much it's really simple uh, if you guys have any questions or any uh, thing you want to leave if you know an easier way uh, this is the only way I found and um, it's pretty awesome and I, I really like the effect that it has um, especially with different fonts and at different angles um, I'm not sure what fonts to use though but let's see what can we do let's go to Rue go to a nice graffiti that graffiti is kinda cool um, but you can move it up just drag it up you know you can move it up a little bit and then uh, as long as you keep it a certain distance, it'll still have a shadow underneath. Um, you know, 
and there we go. You don't really have to mess with any of the effects on ambient inclusion, but you can, you know, it's all preference. You can change it around, make it however you want, but I think this is the best uh, looking way. And there you have a white background, and uh, the text is on a white background and a white floor with a little nice shadow. This is a weird font. But other than that, guys, um, if you guys have any questions, you need any help, leave a comment below. Um, and hopefully, guys, will thumb up the video because um, it helps my videos get out there more. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys later, and have a great day.